Hi and welcome to our new video on Pink Post Lead Type Specs. These are located in a slightly different part of the settings section than regular specs, so you will need to go into API Specs and then find Pink Post Lead in the list. So click that and scroll down for a list of all Pink Post Lead types you have in your system. Uh, we have quite a few here, but you might just have one in the list. Click the name and a list of fields will appear below, similar to what regular specs look like. But there's an extra column marking which fields are required on the ping, and there are four extra fields that need to be passed which aren't used with straight posts. There's the key parameter, which is the API key of the vendor account, so you will need to provide your vendor with that in addition to their SRC and landing page values. It can be found in the Manage Vendor section, which is uh, shown in a separate video. Then there's API action, which needs to have a static value of ping post lead so that the system knows which API to call. And mode, which simply tells the system what type of request it is, so either ping or post. Finally, there's lead ID, which shouldn't be sent on the ping, only on the post. And it should echo our unique lead ID that we return in our successful ping response. So your vendor should capture our ping lead ID and pass it back to us in this parameter so that the system knows which post belongs to which ping. The rest of the fields are similar to regular postings. Uh, you can use the test lead parameter here as well to test your integration. And at the bottom, there's an example XML in a separate posting URL, which is used for XML submissions. If you want to use the matches or match with partner hashes features for shared leads, you need to use this method. And at the very bottom, there's a request example which contains the posting URL to be used for get post requests. And when you need to send these specs to your vendors, simply copy and paste the text and send it as a text document or a PDF. And that way you can modify it to include their unique credentials. Thanks for watching. The next video will walk you through adding a new partner into your system.